show off how to password reset a WordPress site without access to the WP admin area. Um, in this case, I can log into my low key coffee stomp site without this, but it's good to know how to do it. So if I go into my uh, site ground hosting account and I go to my cPanel, I can use a tool called phpMyAdmin, which you're probably somewhat familiar with if you're following this tutorial. If not, what it is is a web interface to do MySQL tasks. WordPress is generally running on a MySQL database in the background. So in here, this is my database for low-key coffee snobs. I know that because of the database prefix. If I didn't know that, I could look in that wpconfig.php file. And I come in here and I have this table called LKCS users. And I see that David has a user pass. So there are two things to know here. One is that this is what's called a hashed password. And the other is that WordPress per supports two different kinds of password hashing. So what you'll see most often recommended and what I'm going to do today is that if I replace this password with, let's say, password. This is not my permanent password. Don't worry, I will change it. And I use the MD5 function here. WordPress doesn't any longer uh, do MD5 hashes for passwords. It's not a very secure standard. Um, but that's why you'll notice that Maggie's password looks different than David's password. But it does let you log in with them. So that's the trick we're using here. So if I go to slash WP admin, having made that change, and I log in with David and password, I'm able to do that because WordPress is saving that is able to check against that MD5 password hash. Now, having just done this, the next thing I'm gonna do is come in here and change my password because the password password is insecure because I showed it to you and because it's MD5 hashed. So if I come in here once I'm in and go to users, your profile, I can change my password. And just for the sake of showing you the effect, I'm gonna generate a new password. I'm gonna save it to my clipboard and I'm going to update my profile. Now we'll see that this password will again look like this dollar sign P dollar sign B. And that's because it's using a more secure, more up-to-date encryption standard than that MD5 that I did. But again, I was able to just come into this table. I edited the row that I was on, uh, went to the user pass and changed it to this MD5. And what this does is that uh, phpMyAdmin will run this function against the value in this field when I click go. So if I do MD5 password and hit go, this will change that value in the database, which will change what WordPress checks my password against. It's not the most secure way to do it, but because WordPress has backwards compatibility, I'm able to get in this way. And it's super effective if you're already in phpMyAdmin and need to change a WordPress password. Cheers.